Sikorsky had a crucial role in the Second World War. He formed the Polish government, both in France and then in Britain. He is then tasked with rebuilding the Polish armed forces and leading the Polish resistance effort through the Second World War. He brought some fine soldiers with him uh, at the very time when Great Britain uh, badly needed allies and support. 4th of July 1943 at Gibraltar, Sikorsky was killed uh, in an air crash, which may or may not have been an accident. General Sikorsky becomes the Prime Minister and the Commander-in-Chief of the Polish Armed Forces after Poland falls to Germany and Russia in 1939. He symbolised Poland's determination to resist the oppression. He really set up the Polish army and armed forces in exile. With the fall of France, he meets with Churchill and asks that the Polish general staff and the Polish army are able to evacuate to the UK. He then rebuilds this Polish army on British soil and he forges relationships with the Allies, all the time trying to promote the Polish cause and return into a Poland and its pre-war boundaries. He had very good relations with other exile governments. Sikorsky saw that after the war, cooperation between European nations was essential. When he arrives, he's got a huge amount of responsibility to deal with. He focuses on reorganising the Polish armed forces up in Scotland. He flies over to America. He negotiates with Roosevelt. So he's a very, very active both politician and military leader. In those first years, 1940, 41, he got to know Churchill very well. He was highly appreciated. He was trusted and seen as an extremely close and important ally. In many respects, he was more high profile than General de Gaulle. He's receiving dignitaries, Churchill visits, the King visits Scotland. He impresses them. He is able to offer them something, which a lot of the time is intelligence. The Poles are very, very active. We see the, the Polish Air Force most famously in, in the Battle of Britain in particular. The spirit of Sikorsky was one of the spirits that kept Britain's spirit strong, this determination not to be put down, not to be defeated. The relationship between Sikorsky and Churchill, it's incredibly positive. Obviously there is a slight tension in it. After the Germans attacked the Soviet Union and Stalin joined the grand coalition, Churchill was increasingly frustrated by this impossible situation of having a Polish ally which was at war with the Soviet Union. This created great problems for Sikorsky. Sikorsky is playing this very difficult role trying to promote Poland's cause, but he obviously has to fit in with the other allies and their strategic objectives. Władysław Szykowski was the symbol of compromise in the best sense, is the inspiration, I think, for all people who are courageous enough to work with people they don't like, whose values they don't accept. This, I think, made him a great statesman. A lot of the accounts of Szykowski in the few months before his death I talk about the stress that he feels, he has you know, tension with Anders, he's involved in sort of diplomacy with the Soviet Union, particularly after Katyn is revealed. He's tried to negotiate with the Allies and to sort of promote the Polish position. For one man to actually bear this seems incredible. 1943, Sikorsky goes on a tour of inspection of the Polish army in the Middle East, the Anders army. Żołnierze Armii Polski na Średnim Wschodzie przekazuję Wam pozdrowienia serdeczne od Prezydenta i Rządu Rzeczypospolitej Polskiej, witając Was gorąco jako Naczelny Wolt Polskich Sił Zbrojnych. 4th of July 1943 at Gibraltar, Sikorski was killed in an air crash. 
having just taken off from a Gibraltar airfield. He is killed alongside with his daughter, his advisors. So they send a destroyer to take his body back to Britain. Um, it's then conveyed to the Polish headquarters in London where it lays in state. And then there's a mass at Westminster Cathedral with a eulogy by Churchill himself. And this is attended by heads of state and the exiled armies that are, that are based in the UK at the time before his body's then taken up to Newark. Churchill report just being sort of devastated by this death. He's described in plenty of accounts as being irreplaceable. The Polish government lost its leader, lost the ability to work in the Allied coalition alongside the, the Soviets and the Americans. The Allies invaded Sicily less than a week after the death of Sikorsky and of course so many Polish soldiers which Sikorsky had been involved with getting out of the Soviet Union. Although the Polish army continued fighting very loyally, the writing was already on the wall that Poland would not regain its independence at the end of the war. There is a lack of awareness, certainly about the Second World War, of the role that the Allies played. And we certainly have forgotten the role that the Poles played. Sikorsky symbolizes the beginning of this intense friendship that has existed between Poland and Britain since the Second World War. That relationship is bearing fruit even today, and we see it in action, Britain and Poland being at the forefront uh, of, of the nations supporting Ukraine.